Thank you to Whole Foods for sponsoring this video. did my school drop off and then I stopped by Whole Foods real quick to get some breakfast and dinner essentials. So I thought I would show you guys my little haul. There's so many fun stuff that just came in for fall. So I was really excited. I was thinking morning coffee could be like maple syrup, bourbon, pumpkin spice latte. A great combo right there. Oh, I also got this caramel roasted coffee. It's already ground. I actually just switched up to doing drip coffee over there because I don't know, sometimes I just like drip coffee a lot better than espresso. Some peanut butter because we're all out. I got some meat. Thinking about doing meatloaf tonight. Honeycrisp apples. These are the best apples in my opinion. They're like a perfect combination between Granny Smith and Fuji. So I think I'm gonna stew some up. Cece's been really into applesauce lately, so thinking that would be good. Some oranges, they're a good snack for the kids. Sweet potato, probably to go with our meatloaf. Also got a spaghetti squash. I'm so excited for fall because all of my favorite vegetables, I tend to love more of like the hearty root vegetables, like roasty squash. Acorn squash is another favorite, but I haven't seen those in yet, but I'm very excited to cook with those. And then I also got some really fun pumpkin mixes like spice pumpkin muffin mix, bread and muffin mix. Sometimes I just need a quick mix so I can like whip something up for school or snack for them. Like I can't make everything from scratch. And then a pancake mix. This one is a spice pumpkin pancake and waffle mix. And I'm really excited for this because uh, we love pancakes. Ooh, and the directions here say you can do it with apple compote. I think I'm gonna do that with these apples for pancakes this morning because I have everything. That's awesome. Okay, cool, cool. I also got pumpkin spice cheesecake sandwich creams. This is a guilty pleasure for me. I love browsing the snack aisles for fall things. They just are so interesting. This one is a dark chocolate caramel apple cup. Does that not sound good or what? Also because I love infusing my laundry, infusing essential oils with basically anything during the fall. I got this orange spice essential oil. It smells like orange potpourri. It's got like cloves. It just smells like fall, like warm, delicious fall flavors. But anyways, let's make some coffee. So it's super easy for drip coffee. I have my pumpkin spice actually from last year and I think it's still, yeah, it's still really, really Potent. I don't do anything too complicated. Basically, I just add like a tablespoon of pumpkin puree. It tastes like pumpkin. It doesn't have that like pumpkin spice in there, so you need to add it in. Half a teaspoon, and then I mix it with some maple bourbon syrup. I bet it just has like a really nice smoky flavor to it. Oh, and I just do, I don't like mine too sugary, so I just do maybe like a teaspoon. Give it a good mix, mix, mix. And then once like the hot coffee gets into the mixture, it just kind of blooms and just infuses it with so much flavor. I love this coffee machine because it's a single serve. So it's almost perfect. I'm gonna add some milk in there and mix this all up first. The pumpkin puree just like melts into the coffee. That's what pumpkin spice should be like. That is the coziest cup of pumpkin. I'll call it pumpkin coffee because it's not really a latte, but it's delicious. Okay, so now I think I'm actually gonna make some spice pumpkin pancakes with an apple compote. So if you guys are interested in trying out these fall flavors, they're actually a Whole Foods exclusive and they're only back for a limited time. So definitely go today. I used to have one of those apple cores. I don't know where it is now. I tend to like my apples a little chunky, not too mushy. 
Although Honeycrisp actually holds its shape pretty well when you cook it, it's great for apple pies. Mm. I like that this apple compote recipe doesn't use just cinnamon. This uses pumpkin pie spice, which is how I would actually have done it. If you guys want the recipe, it's in the back of this box. I like never tried recipes in back of boxes, but I bet they're pretty good. That was supposed to be two tablespoons, but I'm just doing one because I don't like it too, too sweet. And I always tend to, and I always tend to modify recipes anyways, and then butter and that's it. Easy enough, that's all you do, and then just heat it on low heat for 15 minutes. All right, now let's make the pancakes. Ooh, it's got speckles of pumpkin in there, guys. I've never seen that before in a pancake mix. I like it. The apples are starting to release some of its own liquid. So it's gonna get nice and soft and compote tea real soon. The trick to a good pancake are two things. Number one, it's okay for it to still be lumpy dumpy like this. And then number two, you don't cook it right away. You basically just let it sit for about two to three minutes for the flour to hydrate and just so the batter could thicken up. That way you get a nice fluffy pancake. So while it's doing that, I'm gonna go heat up a cast iron pan. Tip number three I have for making good pancake is making sure that the pan is nice and hot so that once you drop the batter on, it doesn't spread, it just like, has this nice sizzle. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to the compote just to make it a little bit more syrupy. It also helps to soften the apples too. And if you really wanted to, you can add a squeeze of lemon juice to like brighten the apples and the flavors. syrupy. I don't think I'm gonna add any additional syrup to this to be honest with you because this looks just perfect. Mm. Yum. Wash it down with some pumpkin coffee, and this was a really cozy fall breakfast. Like, I'm gonna be making this again. Mm. But you guys should definitely check out Whole Foods for their exclusive fall flavors, like the spiced pumpkin pancake mix and all of the other goodies that I showed you earlier. Stay cozy for fall, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!